So I, I, the place where I get my kombucha, ask me if I give a shit. You do. You okay. know why? You'll what? see. Okay. The guy behind the counter, I've seen him several times. He's the guy that's almost always there. You attracted him. And I, I noticed on his arm, he's got a pretty sizable arm. He's got a big guy. It, I looked at it and I'm like, that looks like Hindi, but it's not Hindi. Mm -hmm. It's not Bengali, which also can look like Hindi at first glance. Yeah. And I thought, there's only one other option I think that is. And I asked him, I said, the tattoo, is that Punjabi? I got it. He was so shocked. He's like, "Yes, it is." And then he called me a macho. That's not that's not Punjabi. I know, but he was a nice guy. Oh, ben Chot. Josh. Hey, welcome back to our stupid drag series, of course. I am not Punjabi. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or just kind of things about you. Today, we got a little uh, behind the scenes. Uh, yes. Amir Khan with Lal Singh Chadha. Yay! Uh, the movie we loved, and now you all are starting to understand it's lovable yourselves. Huh. We're always right. Uh, well, I am. Uh, <laughs> Netflix released this, obviously, because it's now on Netflix. Yes. Not six months later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we said, Amir Khan was looking at his checkbook, going, "Eh, we don't need to wait six months. <laughs> let's uh, let's do that now." Because <laughs> yeah, you didn't go see it in theaters. Yeah, uh, but anyways, uh, I bet PS One and uh, oh. Brahmaster are probably going to wait a good while. Of course, why wouldn't you? Build, build up anticipation. Yes, uh, excitement. Anyways, but he talks a little bit in depth about some behind the scenes of him building the character a little bit. Awesome. It's only three minutes, so don't. It's not going to be crazy in depth, but he does. Uh, At least it'll be something. It. Uh, if you haven't seen a review of Lost Chata, and if you haven't seen Lost Chata, go watch it. It's on Netflix. And I hope. I wonder if he'll talk about uh, yeah. Atol Kulkarni's uh, screenplay and how so. that worked. It is his. Then he he wrote that in like two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. Crazy. Guys, can you reduce the Punjabi also? If you know Punjabi, then boss. My problem with Kendi C is my mummy Kathy hai or Kathy T. Wo ambiguity nichi. ज़्यादा गाड़ी या ठेठ पंजाबी हम नहीं इस्तेमाल कर सकते तो एक हमने कोशिश की है कि एक बैलेंस रखें कि उसकी पंजाबीयत कुछ चीजों में निकले लेकिन आपको ऐसे हिंदी ऑडियंस आपको समझ में आए कि वो क्या कह रहा है मैं होशियार नहीं हूँ पर मैं तुम्हें पता है कि प्यार क्यों होना है बहुत ही There he is नहीं बहुत ही transparent आरसपानी जिसे कहते हैं वैसा इंसान बस जीए जा रहा है and that score I can't say enough about the score वो high waisted pants के पीछे जो लग गए मुझे Always लगा कि थोड़ा ज़्यादा है। ये होता है वेस्ट। ये पैंट होती है हाई वेस्ट। Final look मेरे को ये चीज़। तुम नहीं सोचते हो? सोचो ही ना। It doesn't look like it. No, I told you ना my first play was in Gujarati. मैं उस प्ले का सरदार। तू रोक दिख रहा है ना? तुम्हारे समझ गया होगा तो बात। Not bad for first time। थोड़ा practice करूँगा ये लेस तो वो correct आए। ये थिकर मटेरियल है, that's my problem है उस, ये तो मटेरियल ही चाहिए। All the decisions। तू मेरे साथ इतने अच्छे क्यों बोला है? क्योंकि तू मेरी रूपा है। हम्म। कि मासूमियत की जो ताकत है, ये फिल्मों को वो दिखाती है, और ये जज्बा जो मैं महसूस कर चुका था फॉरेस्ट गम देखके ये जज्बे को मैं हिंदुस्तानी ऑडियंस के साथ बांटना चाहा था रूपा ने मेरे को चंदीगढ़ आनवास्ते चिट्ठियाँ लिखी हैं टीवी भी देखिए उसने मेरे को दौड़ते हुए मैं चाहता हूँ कि हिंदुस्तान के बच्चे जो हैं वो इस किरदार को अपने कल्चर में अपने माहौल Excited to make this film. Oh, my God. I can do a whole behind the scenes of 
most films, uh, especially ones that you like well, a lot, right? Yeah, especially uh, ones with that level of love, love for the art form. Um, that's it's one of my. <laughs> I like it a lot because it shows you how intricate. Like a lot of people, are like, oh, he's building his character, blah blah blah. But I guarantee you they were like days on end picking out just different fabrics, absolutely for shirts, absolutely shoes. What are the perfect shoes he, he would wear? What's the underwear he would wear? Absolutely, what's the style of turban he would. Uda Hagen said that right down to the underwear. Yep. And there's shows that um, there are there are shows and films, particularly a series, who. The costume department, rather than go get the clothes for the characters, they'll give the money that has been budgeted to the actor, and that actor can go buy the clothes because the actor will know even more than the costumer what that person's supposed to wear. And obviously, it's not going to be a single choice. They're going to yeah. go get a bunch of options, bring it back, and with the costumer, they're going to collaborate on what they think the character would wear. And that's just the nature of doing this in a way that's artistic not just you know <clears throat> making a movie you're creating a film yeah yeah uh, it's i think um a lot of actors have said this but johnny johnny depp has said it multiple times he says i feel the character when i have yes everything of course Which is probably why he has such eccentric characters with eccentric costumes he yeah <laughs> he, he likes he's different because he also likes well, being hidden he doesn't like it changes you yeah it's it it you walk differently yeah S snape obviously it was famous alan rickman uh said that um he specifically wanted a cloak and yes. outfit that he had to intricately every single day have buttons up to the sleeve yes because he's like i wanted to every single day he would methodically, have to methodically button it button it together that is, and that's what the character would do yeah that's uh, that helped him get into it howard fine yeah says if even if you're doing for example and i just i did this last week for an audition that was a a a, a just a zoom video thing and the character is supposed to have been the former head chairman of the securities and exchange commission that's a government appointed high position kind of thing and in the past i've been guilty of just looking like the character from the waist up because i'm doing a zoom meeting and i made sure from the underwear up i was even i was wearing my dress shoes i had my everything because it made me feel mm -hmm. like that person mm -hmm. the more honest you are in creating that environment and that's why I promise you, him learning how to do the he turban. was doing the turban. Yeah, he would. He could have. It's Amir Khan. Yeah, he could have had someone distress the shoes. Yeah, he didn't need to distress the shoes. The fact that he wanted to distress the shoes made it very clear that he was aware of every little wear and tear that would happen if you were wearing them for that long. Yeah. It just speaks to the artist. I know there's a um, which maybe one day we'll. We'll, we'll watch, but I know there's an entire like hour and a half to two hour behind the scenes of uh, Lagan. Oh, just uh, shut up. I think it's on. I think it's actually on Netflix. People wanted us to watch it for a long time, but it's like it's called. I think called In the Desert. Oh, and it's just a completely like almost two hour behind the scenes of them making oh, uh, Lagan. Pop, start popping the popcorn now, right? That'd be so good, right? Yes. Um, and <laughs> so. Oh. It, I like behind the scenes like that. They delve into not only the actors and their preparation and the directors, but like the set design, yes. the writing. Because the, it's such a beautiful art form that is the most collaborative art form in the world, I think. I agree. Because there's just so much that... Theater, obviously, it's collaborative as well, but once... Once the play starts, it's on the actors. Yeah. It's it's theirs. But like there's like once you're done shooting, it's the director, it's the editors, it's the it's the cinematographers, it's the color correctors, it's the VFX artists. It's it the, really <laughs> is. And it's to show you how intricate it is, like it's insane. I even craft services, guys, like I remember Usually the most fun people. I was uh there's a show on Apple called Sugar, it's Colin Farrell's show, right? Mm. So I happened to be there for a couple of days. And I remember, because they're long days, I remember after lunch, back on set, crew is talking about how incredible lunch was. Mm. And that makes the morale of the crew mm -hmm. high, which gives you a sense of joy on set that translates to the collaborative effort. 
it, it makes a difference if you're acting and the crew is grumpy and angry mm-hmm. versus everybody's happy to be there. Yeah. The, the nature of the collaborativeness is that's one of the best things about behind the scenes. I agree. Yep. Anyway, it's great. Uh, if you haven't seen Lost Sing Chata, once again, go see it. Uh, if you haven't seen a review, go watch that. And what should be our next Amir's Khan's films that yes. we should watch? Obviously, we've seen a lot, but there's a lot more to go of Amir's Khan's. Bring them. Uh, let us know what it should be down below. Just-